So Elon Musk, who's the founder of Tesla and also the founder of SpaceX, he's done a ton of stuff with artificial intelligence and advanced computers and all that fancy stuff. Uh, he is warning us about, uh, well, let's listen to him directly. I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. Um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter at maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, "Yeah, you sure you can control the demon?" <laughs> Then work out. I take it there will be no HAL 9000 going up to Mars. <laughs> HAL 9000 would be easy. <laughs> it's way more complex than, I mean, it would put HAL 9000 to shame. Yeah. Okay, that's some seriously powerful stuff. <laughs> Our biggest existential threat is artificial intelligence, and it will be like, quote, summoning the demon. Now, this is from a guy who is doing this stuff. I mean, he really, all his businesses are future businesses. Uh, he's, he's leading the charge on this stuff, and he's warning us. This reminds me, I feel like this is like a scene in a movie where they throw back, you know, after the, the war, the Terminators right, have right, taken over, right. and they're like, remember that guy yeah. who said that right, thing? Right. There's a broken TV on the ground. Yeah. Right. Right. And it's just on exactly. loop. <laughs> Including a clip from this show about us joking about it. Exactly. Right, right, so right. I often on this show, because uh, I love these types of stories, and I often talk about how I think that eventually the robots are going to take over, and yes, I've watched enough of the sci-fi movies. It's, it's just in there. It's just a piece, and that doesn't mean we stop technology or stop moving forward or all this future stuff, which is all really cool. But how do we heed a warning from this guy? He's the one that's doing it, right? <laughs> he's the one that he knows about this. You know, he's one of the primo guys. But how do we how do we acknowledge that it's happening while the technology just keeps moving along? What do we do? I don't know, man, Dave. I'm not that smart, but I'm telling you right now, watching this video, this man knows something. Okay, yeah. I don't. He he needs to be brought back into a back room and interrogated because I don't know if he fuck with some artificial intelligent rat that he created in his back room that stole from him, yeah. you know, on some micro level, and he's like, oh shit. So like the way, his, the gravitas in which he spoke, that scares me. So I'm that, not messing with me, this. I, I yeah. agree, it was the matter of factness which, <laughs> yeah. with which he said it, because he's the one building this, mm -hmm. the technology for this yeah. stuff, and Google's got, you know, Ray Kurzweil and the singularity and yeah. all that. Uh, but he's one of the ones doing it, so because of that, he said it so calculatingly, like this shit is going down. So mm -hmm. humans, enjoy it while you got it, because we got about 10 years left, and I think we, was the subtext. Yeah, and, and he even brought up the movies that we see as just, oh yeah, that'll never happen. Yeah. But then, again, wasn't joking, wasn't smiling about it. So uh, again, mm -hmm. and then they're recreating humans, they've been doing this for a while. And even if you want to go to, I mean, you have these innovators, and then you have even people who are more religious, I grew up Christian as well, mm -hmm. and then so when you have it, then they think, hey, you know what? You always gotta look out for what you're creating because then they're gonna come back and get you. I mean, in whatever realm you wanna bring it back from. Yeah. That's what my parents say about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> so I mean, it seems like the creation of it is to do is to make a super being. Yeah. And that's what obviously, I mean, these companies and these corporations, yeah. these innovators have said they wanna do. And then what do we do with those? What's the point Can of it? Can we them? still control them once yeah. we've created them? Yeah. yeah. Do we need to pay more attention to science fiction? Because science fiction usually is about 50 years ahead of what ends up happening, you know? That, that seems to me to be like a rough arc that you get with this stuff in all of these movies. So you got, you know, Terminator, uh, what was the Will Smith movie? Uh, uh, I, Robot. I, Robot. Minority I was gonna say Report. I Am Legend, but I'm sure with yeah. Ebola that's gonna happen too. <laughs> uh, Minority Report, they are working on pre-crime kind of stuff. And yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. all this yeah. stuff. So science fiction does give us a little bit of a key, right? It always goes to the bad place, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And maybe we need, is there, could they do a science fiction movie that, does it ever work out in a, why does it never work out? Why do the futurists, it never works out? I feel like in, in our reality, in our world, I yeah. think that there are so many checks and balances and technology can move such an incremental pace that if something really does prove to be dangerous, they'll shut it down. Like drone, like dro drones mm -hmm. from Amazon, right? Oh, yeah. That's that's just being, it's being beta tested. It's being, I don't feel like but all of a sudden- But eventually they're gonna become smart enough that they'll shut us down. I think that's, maybe, the, that's the fear. I feel like though, are we gonna wake up one day and really there'll be an army of 100,000 drones trying to kill us all? Like will that just happen? Or, no, I mean, but maybe our 
our houses have all become so futurized Smart. that they can start fucking with our right. ability lock to in. lock us in yeah. and shut down our internet and or all even, kinds or of Or even there's stuff. maybe a small group. You tried to go positive. You tried. <laughs> I really right? did. Yeah. I, yeah, well, go. I'm I mean, done. I guess I'm the done. first level is before the robots take over, because that yeah. sounds so crazy to say. <laughs> there's people the who first, control. Right? Yeah, there's like a few people who right. control those yes. robots. We have our NSA uh, things where they can tap in and activate things with our phones and which that we thought we had control of. Yeah, that's already happening. I mean, and then people, I mean, there's conspiracy theories about our cars are computers mm, yeah. now. My Google Maps knows that we're here right now. It's totally, right? And you, can, you, right can, now. you can undo that, but it can still be tapped in. So maybe there's a few people that can control your house and your life and your car, and you don't know it. Yeah, I, I'm just totally fascinated by this digital stuff. You know, I, one of the things, there was that Stuxnet virus that uh, was screwing up the Iranian nuclear oh. stuff, and basically through a computer virus that they some, whoever sent it there, they sent there, they were able to screw up actual physical real world things. You know what I mean? They threw a computer virus, they then made, you know, things spin too fast or and it actually yeah. caused real explosions. Like so it's it's happening right now and I guess we just have to be aware of it. You have one final scary thought? No, no I'm good. Yeah, he's yeah, got no, 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 it's scary, scary but yeah. <laughs> we shall see how it all plays out. <laughs>